You guys making a mess down here? Yeah? What you up to, my little man? You marching around? Doing stuff today? What you doing today? Oh, it's a rainy day, I know. No going outside today in the rain. You don't like the rain, do you, Mr. Stormy? Hello there, Miss Braveheart. Hello there, Miss Kadome. You spent some time upstairs with your little eggs? Yeah? Oh my. Yeah? You want to say hi? Oh, come here then. There you go. Hey there, my little stormy boy. There you go. Good morning, good afternoon, and welcome back to Watching Chickies. Now here on day 321 of our broadcast, and Watching Chickies is the daily live stream here on Reddit, and then later YouTube about the lives and development of these three young chickens. Right here in my arms is our little silky rooster named Stormy. Down there is our onigadori hen named Kagome. And right next to me over here is our Ayam Samani hen named Braveheart. All three of them make one little flock that we've been just watching grow for the past 321 days now. Oh, hello there, Mr. Stormy. He was yelling for me and yelling for me to uh, come say hi. It's a rainy day outside, which means the chickens haven't really gone outside today. So, you know, they need a little bit more care from their human caretakers on days like that. Yes, Miss Kagome, yes. I'm going to put your boyfriend down. There you go. There you go, Mr. Fuzzy Butt. Nice little hawk that you have there. Hello there, Braveheart. Ooh, taking your position. Oh, coming in for a hug. Yeah? Good girl. Yeah, I know. Oh, don't worry. I'll pick you up in just a little bit, Miss Kagome. Oh, Stormy's ready and willing to uh, do a little mating dance for her. Miss Braveheart's just kind of getting ready to sit down and take her daily nap here on my lap. So I think they're pretty content today. Definitely quite active now that I've come in. Ooh, attacking Morty today, huh? Usually it's just Rick. Oh, back to Rick as well. Oh my. Yeah, what is it about him? You don't like it? Oh dear, oh dear. I do like these little uh, pajama trousers that I have. Oh, and there goes Mr. Stormy to mate with Miss Kagame. Well, I think that time was a little record. I think he was done in under two seconds there. Well, I know you don't care, Braveheart. You just care about getting your nap time, doing a little bit of preening here on my knee, and you are quite the happy little hen. Good girl, good girl. So we did stream the um, eggs for a while upstairs. Uh, today is the first day that they can potentially hatch. So we're, we are keeping a pretty close eye on them. Um, the only question will be if, like, they start to hatch while we're asleep. We might not really get notices about that. And um, I know on Friday I am actually working on a job. So that day my partner Lauren will have to be kind of keeping an eye on the eggs. Hopefully they kind of choose to hatch while I'm here. That would be the sort of best outcome. Don't really want to miss it, but... You know, um, at the very least, it would be great if we could get them on camera hatching. Now, them hatching is not a foregone conclusion. We did have a little incident 
a couple days ago where their incubator failed on us. We had to go out and we had to buy a new incubator. So there were a couple of hours there when the eggs didn't have any real warmth that they were having before. So that can affect the incubation. Um, hopefully the um, embryos growing inside did survive. I did candle both of them and I think they are okay. So, you know, we'll just have our fingers crossed over the next couple of days and hopefully our little flock here will increase. Um, you know, if not, the girls do produce more eggs and we can give it another shot. Not all chicken eggs, even if they are fertilized, uh, do end up hatching. So it's just kind of like a waiting and the numbers game sometimes. Or maybe we'll get lucky the first time. What do you think, Miss Braveheart? Yeah, you don't know what the heck I'm talking about. You just know that I'm here with you, and you are a happy little chicken. She's just kind of bird blobbing here on my knee. One of her favorite little perches. Just starting to get ready for a nap. You can see how she's kind of uh, tucking her head right there. And just seeing what I'm doing. I think she wants to make sure right now that I'm not going to pet her. She was very, very cuddly while she was uh, recovering from her sprain. But now that she's feeling a little bit better, she's more kind of like back to her cat-like self. And she'll just give you like a little peck if you kind of bother her as a way of just her saying, no, 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 no pets right now. Yeah, you're just in the mood for a little bit of a nap. And that just interrupts all that. Oh, and Kagome's having a good time, just preening, getting all of those natural oils all gathered up against her feathers, which I'd say today are looking quite lovely. I think she's recently took, taken a sand bath. Oh, I think Mr. Stormy's doing a little bit of preening of his own right there. Yeah, you're looking handsome today, Stormy. Good job, you do a bit of preening as well, like Miss Kagome. And then maybe, you know, we'll have a couple months in between bath times. Wouldn't that be lovely? No. Oh. Happy Miss Braveheart? Yeah, you thinking about that nap? Do you want me to give you a little pet? I could pet you. No? Okay. You see, I gave her a little pet, and then she gave me that little whistle right there, which just tells me, no, 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 I just wanted to sit. And now I'm going to peck Rick. Oh, dear. Yeah? Okay, well, I'm going to put my foot down a little bit. I was holding my knee up just a little bit because you were kind of sliding there for a second. Yeah, you could go up my lap a bit. There, so you're more secure. She's doing that little sideways shuffle there. So just a lot of preening going on over here with the chickens, which is pretty common. They do like to keep themselves looking as nice as possible, just examining all of their feathers, making sure that everything is nice and protected with natural oils. It also helps cut down on the dander. It's just part of their natural cleaning process, along with taking little dust and or sand baths. And Braveheart seems to be having a good time here on my lap. Now, of course, you can see whenever she flies up to my lap, she's always just eager to get her spot, as she's determined it. Yeah, it's your spot. She hates it when I pick up Mr. Stormy and put him in my lap. She comes over and just gives him a little bit of a peck, or sometimes me a peck, for daring to uh, put another chicken where she should be. Oh my, oh my. Oh yeah, introverted bassist. Um, chickens do take baths. Uh, we have a a sand bath over there in the corner that the chickens use. 
and they do kind of spread around a bunch of sand. What they do is they get in there, they sort of dig themselves a little um, section into it, and then they just kind of fluff out their feathers, and they, they kind of roll about in it, they kick into the sand, and they get all of those little sand particles uh, throughout the different layers of their feathers. And that acts as a natural exfoliant for them. Um, in the wild, it also helps them uh, stay free of any parasites like uh, fleas and such. So, you know, it's kind of like um, an inherited genetic memory that they do that because we did raise all three of these little chickens from chicks. They didn't have any examples from other chickens to see, so this is just kind of what comes to them. And it's just interesting how these instincts kind of pop up. Yeah. Like Braveheart's instinct right here to just kind of gently fall asleep while listening to my voice. No, oh, she perked up there for a second as she heard her, her name. It's okay, I wasn't trying to get your attention. You can go to sleep. There you go. They are such sleepy little chickens today. Well, except for um, Kagome and Stormy, who seem to be all about the preening right now. Oh my. Look how agile Stormy is. He's able to actually preen the feathers on his very neck. That is some dexterity there, my little rooster. Oh my, oh my. Oh, good girl. Are just looking right up at me. How you doing today? Yeah? Thinking about going to take your nap now? Or are you just waiting for me to be quiet for a second? Oh my. What? Yeah? What, you want to have a conversation, Stormy? I heard that little voice. Tell me what's going on. I could help you out. Miss Kagome is still preening her feathers. You want to preen your feathers as well? Show her that you're a clean boy? Yep, we have three chickens here. Our silky rooster to the right, named Stormy. Our Onigadori hen over here in brown and gold. And then here on my lap, we have our Ayam Samani hen, named Braveheart. All three of them are just lovely little birds, and they make our flock. There you go, Miss Braveheart. She usually likes flying right up into my lap just to take a little nap during midday. She's all about those naps. Kagome is mostly just about the preening right now. And Stormy's doing his best with either eye to keep an eye on both of his girls. While Kagome does seem to be his primary little girlfriend, he does also mate with Braveheart here. So he's kind of the main rooster that we have, our only rooster. Our fuzzy little man. Isn't that right, Mr. Stormy? No, I'm just focused on those wing feathers right now. You could hear that sort of little crunch that he makes as he goes over some of the stiffer feathers that he has, because he does have a few feathers that are almost feather-like instead of fur-like. I can make those little crunching noise, that little ticking noise. Almost like a little bit of chicken ASMR.
Good boy, good boy. Mr. Stormy. Mr. Stormy. Wanna come over here, boy? <gasps> Wanna show us your fuzzy butt? Oh, that was a nice little butt wiggle. Wanna do the little butt wiggle again? Yeah, you got a real fuzzy butt there, son. Yeah? No, you just want to play with the blankets and the towels? <gasps> we get a little stormy shuffle. Well, that's quite lovely as well. So today's episode probably, well, today's stream is probably not going to be as long as some of the others. Um, I do need to help uh, my partner, Lauren, in just a little bit. Uh, we have gotten a few sort of last minute supplies for the new little chicks that will be arriving. Uh, we're planning sort of a setup where we have the chicks, the new uh, Lee Hatch chicks will be down here with uh, the other chickens. Um, and that will be either way, w whether they are accepted by Miss Kagome or Miss Braveheart or not. Uh, so if Miss Kagome or Miss Braveheart do kind of adopt the chicks when we bring them down, uh, we will then um, just kind of leave them down here because then uh, Braveheart or, or Kagome will keep them warm. They'll help feed them. They'll help lead them to water. And that will all be great. Um, if that doesn't happen, we'll have the chicks down here in more of a glass terrarium sort of situation uh, compared to what um, these chickens grew up with in their sort of brooding tub. Now, we're going to do that because we want these chickens, uh, Braveheart, uh, Kagome, and Stormy. No, no, no. Those papers aren't yours, Miss Braveheart. You wanted to play with the papers? Oh, dear. Um, so we want the chickens to get used to seeing uh, the new little chicks so they can, you know, adapt to them. The new chicks can adapt to our chickens. Um, so that way, when they actually join the flock, um, you know, they can integrate. There you go, Miss Braveheart. Good girl. She's letting me pet her right now. Oh, you done with pets? You sharply turned your head there, which suggests to me that petting time is over. What do you think? Let's see. Oh, a few more pets now. Lovely, lovely. So um, in cases where you incubate eggs and the chickens have not sat on them, uh, they can reject those new chicks. Uh, they could even become aggressive towards them. Uh, neither of our girls here, Braveheart or Kagome, have um, become broody. So they haven't really been sitting on their eggs, which means that they're not really sort of in that mothering uh, mindset right now. Uh, we have a few eggs down there in one of their nesting areas, a few wooden ones and a few a few real ones and at times when you have a bunch of eggs together that can kind of encourage that broody behavior but um as of the moment you know it would it's going to be kind of a, a little gamble when we introduce the new little chicks to these chickens to see if they accept them uh, we will be here with all of them um so there's some clear signs that a hen can take when you're seeing they're accepting new chicks. They will kind of um, usher them to kind of uh, go underneath them. They'll put out their wings. They'll help warm the chicks. Um, so if they reject them, they'll just kind of walk away from them. Or we might even see the chickens just trying to peck at them. In that case, we'll just quickly remove the chicks and we will put them into their brooder where we will kind of hand raise them much like we did with these chickens. So the only difference is going to be um, then for the first three, four weeks of the chickens lives, uh, we will um, be just uh, raising the other chicks much like we raised these chickens. And then once they get a little bit bigger, we can then um, actually uh, integrate them into the flock 
which should be easier if these chickens actually see the chicks over all of those weeks. So they'll get used to seeing them, they'll be talking to each other, and then by the time that we let them out, um, everything should be good. Yes, Mr. Stormy, everything should be good in that case. Good boy, good boy, yes I know, yes I know. So we're getting to that point of the day where I'm going to be doing my second cleaning of the room. Oh, Braveheart just angled her poop, so she missed me. She just heard me say I was going to clean the room, so I guess she decided, hey, now is the time to make a mess. So um, I'm probably going to be heading out now. Uh, we should be back probably tomorrow around 1 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, thank you all very much for joining us today. Um, you know, I always count these streams as our just little daily dose of chicken therapy. Um, it's hard to be mad, bad, or sad when you are just watching these little chickens be themselves and just having a fun time. Oh, and thank you for joining us today, introverted bassist. And I hope all of you out there have lovely days, whether it be um, those of you with us now or those of you watching later. Um, so I, so, so to all our old friends and new, um, we hope to see you again soon. All right, everyone, take care. Bye-bye.